So continuing where we left off, we can now create a new simulation. What I need to do is I need to treat C gaps as linear contact elements. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm just going to switch all of my output requests on. Do the same constraints again, fix constraints. Uh, I'm going to pick a polygon edge. This is the geometry on. Edge and that edge. Apply. I'm going to put my beam element on. And I'm going to put oops, a bolt preload on that face. Again, a thousand units. Okay. Put those back on, switch the geometry off. Save that. Again, I'm just going to switch off the coordinate system. So we are ready to solve. Okay, so we have an issue that I didn't set up the direction of the contact elements so I'll just go back into the and edit the associated data and set that to the X direction display the simulation solve that again ok that's solved and we have some results again we can see displacement and we can see contact force if we set that result to zero we can see the contact region we can actually hide those connector elements we can identify on the mesh there we have a contact force of a thousand newtons. We can look at the beam axial force and we can see that we've got a thousand newtons again. So that is another way of setting up the the bolt preload using 2D elements. Thank you very much.